Russian President Vladimir Putin has scoffed at allegations of collusion between U.S. President Donald Trump's campaign and Russia, saying the reports have been invented by Trump's foes and have hurt the U.S. political system. He also mocked his most visible critic, Alexei Avalik, who is barred from challenging Putin in the March 18 presidential vote due to an embezzlement conviction, saying those like him want to plunge Russia into a destabilized quagmire. He vowed not to let that happen. Speaking at his annual Marathon News Conference, Putin reaffirmed his firm denial of meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Read more, Trump is not my bride, Putin. Read more, Putin directly ordered a mail hack, CIA. All of it was invented by people who oppose President Trump to undermine his legitimacy, Putin said in remarks that had an uncanny resemblance to Trump's arguments. I am puzzled by that people who do it are inflicting damage to the U.S. domestic political situation, incapacitating the president and showing a lack of respect to voters who cast their ballots for him. Putin argued that Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak, whose contacts with Trump's entourage are part of the FBI and congressional probes into ties between the Trump campaign and Russia, was simply performing his routine duties. Despite Putin's comments, U.S. intelligence agencies have concluded that Russia interfered in the election to help the Republican Trump defeat Democrat Hillary Clinton. Trump last month lashed out at those agencies' former heads, calling them political hacks and arguing there were plenty of reasons to be suspicious of their findings. Putin also hailed Trump's achievements, saying that global markets have demonstrated investors' confidence in Trump's economic course. The Russian leader said he and Trump had spoken on a first-name basis on the sidelines of two international summits this year and voiced hope that Trump eventually would be able to fulfill his campaign promises to improve ties with Russia. Putin emphasized that the two countries need to cooperate on tackling global challenges and that Russia is ready for constructive cooperation on tackling the North Korean standoff. Putin has warned the U.S. not to use force against North Korea adding that the consequences will be catastrophic. He emphasized that Russia opposes Pyongyang's nuclear bid, but added the U.S. had provoked Pyongyang into developing its nuclear and missile programs by spiking a 2005 deal under which North Korea agreed to hold them. Putin said Moscow was encouraged to hear U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson's statement about readiness for talks with Pyongyang, hailing it as a realistic approach. He pointed out, however, that the U.S. sanctions PUT Russia on par with Iran and North Korea, noting that it looks weird in light of the fact that Washington expects Russia to cooperate in tackling the North Korean crisis. The Russian leader also voiced concern about the U.S. considering a pullout from key nuclear arms control pacts, adding that Moscow intends to stick to them. He noted that Russia is particularly worried about what he described as U.S. violations of the INF Treaty, a Cold War-era pact banning intermediate-range missiles.